Hi friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn about the invertebrate animals. You all know that the animals are divided into two big groups. The vertebrates that have an internal skeleton formed by bones and the invertebrates that have no bones. Vertebrates are oviparous, and we classify them in six big groups sponges, jellyfish, corals, worms, mollusks, echinoderms, and arthropods. The sponges are aquatic animals that are sac shaped and the body is full of pores. It is very easy to remember this group because many times we use them in the shower for our personal hygiene. Yes, many of the sponges we use in the shower are invertebrate animals. The jellyfish are invertebrate animals that live in the ocean. Their bodies are gelatinous and have tentacles. The truth is that when they appear in the beach, it is very annoying because their tentacles have small venomous stingers that produce very unpleasant bites. Corals are tiny marine animals that produce limestone residue, which give rise to beautiful shapes. this animal? Exactly, it's a worm. Worms are soft and long invertebrate animals that move by dragging the body in the ground because they have no feet. They can be aquatic or terrestrial. There are some worms that can be harmful and that is why we must be careful with them. Can you see this snail? Well, snails form part of the mollusk group. Mollusks have a soft body without legs and can also be aquatic or terrestrial. Some, like the snail, this clamp and mussels, protect the body with shells. But there are other mollusks that don't have a shell to protect themselves like slugs or octopuses. The echinoderms are exclusively aquatic animals. Their bodies have calcareous plates that form a shell. Some echinoderms are balloon shaped and are covered in spikes that they use to defend themselves, like sea urchins. Others are star shaped and are of course called starfish. Arthropods are the most abundant animals on the earth. Of every 100 animals that exist, 80 are arthropods. These invertebrate animals have the body covered by an external skeleton called a cuticle. The most common way to classify the arthropods is by the number of legs they have. This way we can classify them in four big groups. Arthropods with six legs, in this group, insects like ants and flies are present. Arthropods with eight legs. Or for example, the arachnids like spiders and scorpions are. Arthropods with ten legs include the crustaceans, like crabs and lobster. Arthropods with more than ten legs, like the centipede that, as you can see, has much more than a hundred legs and are called myriapods. Well, now you know a bit more about the invertebrates. Bye friends and don't forget to subscribe to the Happy Learning channel.